What's up, y'all? We stand for this one because it's a special occasion. I got myself some sushi omakase delivery. Omakase, what is that all about? I don't know. I've never been balling enough to try it, but I think it's like a custom course for sushi. And usually, yeah, you go there and, you know, the the sushi master will prepare the catch of the day or whatever, right? I guess that's what they do. I found a place that delivers it, so I don't really know what's all in here, but I'm sure it's going to be good. The contents of this sushi box came out to 61 doll hairs, so pretty hefty amount. Uh, not much food. Well, why don't we just open it up and see what's inside? Bam! Wow, man. I don't even know what this is. I mean, that's the whole point, you know? It wasn't written on the, uh, on the delivery app. I can kind of guess what some of these things are. We got some shrimp and i think we got this looks like some fatty tuna this appears to be uni aka sea urchin row i don't think i've ever had this you know is that salmon eggs i, I don't know man we're just going to be going down and uh, tasting what the chef prepared for me today and uh, hopefully we'll be in, enjoying it i do know what this is as well that is egg but yeah it looks it looks beautiful i mean so colorful uh it just looks delectable you know what i mean so if you're a sushi expert out there in the comments let me know what i'm eating they didn't give me any kind of guide so i really don't know what most of this stuff is so you know we're just freestyling today they gave me six of these so let's just start off with one of these real quick a little roll type of dealio here your guess is as good as mine going in That's delicious. By the way, this is the first time I've had sushi in Japan. Been here for a week now, so that is just hitting the spot right now. They also gave me this little thing of soy sauce, so let's see if I can. That's good though. I think it is it tuna. It's got a little crunch to it, so I think there's a little bit of radish in there as well. But it just this is tasty, man. I like this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to like all of them. Can't lie. But off to a good start. <clears throat> Just in case, I'm going to leave these three here. Because I know they're my style. So we're going to end on a good note. What is this? Ginger? Cleanse the palate, you know what I'm saying? This one's kind of leaking, the sea urchin. And I've never had this before, I don't recall, so I'm kind of curious about this one. It's very messy. Actually, you know what? I'm an idiot. I'm going to go down the top. <laughs> I'm going to start on the top and then work my way down. So let's start with the shrimp. It's got the tail on it. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to be careful. That's clean, man. Is that even a shrimp? I don't know. That shrimp texture, I'm still looking for the right word to describe shrimp texture. I think it needs its own kind of word for it. Shrimpy texture, you know? It's kind of got that pop to it, you know? Uh, but a little meaty pop. That was good. It was clean, super clean. And the tail had a nice little crisp to it. Way back in the day when I was learning Korean, I had a bunch of Japanese classmates and I went out to eat with them once and they're eating the tails and you know for me i never ate the tails of the shrimp and they were just maxing the tails i was like you be eating the tails and they're like yeah why not so ever since i'm not scared of the tails you know i'm fiddling around with a lot of stuff here i'm gonna preemptively strike each one of these with a little bit of soy sauce just not too much let's try this one this has some green stuff on top of it. 
a little bit of a silver tail to it. Dare I say silver tail? No, I'm just I'm just messing with you. This could be anything. You're kidding me. That's next level. Uh, I did not. You, okay, here's the deal. Usually, when I get sushi or nigiri, uh, I usually get salmon or tuna because that's what I know. The ones that I don't know, I'm not a huge, I'm not as big of a fan of. And there's some that I just don't like at all. I didn't think I would like that as much as my go-to classics, my go-to favorites. That's just up there. I don't know what that green stuff was. It was a nice little, nice little herbaceous little kick to it. But the texture, sometimes I've got sushi that's chewy. Not the biggest fan of that. I know some people like that, but that one was not chewy at all. Melt in your mouth. I don't know what that was, Ben. It was good though. Next up. This guy right here. I really have no guesses at this point, but it has a nice, an interesting ridge there on one side. Kind of, is, dare I say, is that a char to it? So is this partially charred? Oh, that might be the catch of the day. That one had a lot of meat on it. But again, not chewy at all. Melting. I don't know if I want to know what these are. I don't know if it would add to the, my enjoyment of these pieces of sushi. It probably would, a little bit, a tiny a tad bit, but just going in blind and just having no expectations and each one being killer so far. I'm liking it. A lot. This one's this one almost looks like beef, man. This has gotta be some kind of tuna. And if it's not, then I'm a fool, but I mean that's looking like raw beef almost, you know what I mean? That one actually dissolved. That's weird. Like, how does, how does that even work, man? Wow. Oh, snap. What the f- All right, didn't plan that, y'all. Got a new battery here to power my light. I might just need to get like a five meter cord. We'll look into that. Next. But yeah, no, I can't speak enough about that one that I just had. The one that was like raw beef. Uh, it didn't taste like beef. But that was probably the most tender of them yet. I, is, I don't know if that's the right word. The most melt in your mouth piece I've had yet. This one also looks like it has a little bit of a char on one side. I don't, that's a technique I've, I'm not really familiar with. You know, I'm not a sushi expert. I say this in every sushi video. I don't know anything about sushi, really. So, let me know, man. Let me know. So far, straight hits. All right, y'all. Let me just say right now, this is a little bit expensive. So, right, like 60 bucks for this little box. Not, I can't even compare it to any sushi that I've ever had in my life. This is levels above each piece. I think it's the way they, must be the way they slice it, the freshness of it, um, everything. The rice in there, you know, you, you always hear about the apprentices. They're working the rice for like three years or whatever back in the kitchens, you know. Um, every detail is just immaculate with this. And every piece is just so soft delicious flavorful no chew whatsoever just the right amount of chew i should say <laughs> oh yeah cheese 
we have another nice looking piece. I wouldn't be surprised if this was tuna as well. There's a lot of fat on it. How they score it like this, I'm guessing that aids to, to the, you know, the texture and the, maybe the flavor as well. I mean, you can see it just glistening in the light. It's, it's like sparkling going in. If sushi is your favorite food, you got to make a pilgrimage here. I don't know, man. Like Korea, there's a lot of places that have good sushi or that sell sushi. Probably a lot of places have good stuff. Uh, I mean, it's close by. You can probably catch similar catches. You know, Korea has a lot of fish markets as well. So you can get fresh catches. And, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that they have a lot of people who are knowledgeable about pr the preparation. I can't say it enough. Every piece is just raising the bar higher and higher. <sighs> worth it. Well worth the money. Every piece here is worth, what, five bucks? Worth it, man. Definitely worth it. I'm running out of battery, kind of, so I should speed this up. I'm trying to, like, savor, savor each piece, but don't got much time left. On to the next one. This one phew, beats me, man. Is, that, is this translucent? Is that some of the wasabi underneath? That's my guess. I'm just waiting for one that I don't like. And it's not coming. I don't think it's going to happen in this video. I do hear that sea urchin row, the uni, can be kind of a... Uh, Hit or miss for some people, but you never know. All right, I think this one right here is going to be real special. I'm pretty sure this must be fatty tuna. And just like you can see the fat on it and also how they scored it here. A little piece falling off the end here, but that's fine. You know, just, I don't know. That flavor's off the wazoo, man. That fat adds so much flavor, I feel like. Or else, where's the flavor coming from? I don't know. But it just, it's melting. It's. God dang. Like, I'm. Let me try this uni, man. First time. It's it's looking like some some organic peanut butter. It's a little bit tricky right off the bat to deal with. Very slimy, you know. Not much of a constitution to it. Uh, going in. That's interesting. That's different. That's different. Very... That one tastes like the sea. This one is probably... I don't mind it at all. I feel like I just dove in the depths. I feel like I'm back playing Subnautica again. It feels like I ate something that's a little bit alien. Very kind of slimy or a little bit... Uh, it just... No bite to it. Adding a ton of interesting flavors, though. I would love to have another one of those to be able to try. It's not fish. It's the... I believe it's actually the... The roe, or maybe even the uterus itself. What's even... What is a sea urchin, even? I don't even know. Let's try this. Now, is this salmon eggs, or am I tripping, man? I, I very well could be tripping. Hit it with a little soy. 
one drop. I don't think I've ever had this before. I can see why they put these two together. I mean, they're not cuts of fish. They're the eggs or whatever. Definitely more of a of an intense kind of fishy flavor, I would say. A lot of these, you know, they're not really tasting like super fishy. You can definitely taste the ocean with these two. Um, that one had a very interesting texture. Each is like bubble tea, kind of, in a way. Personally, all these on the top row, uh, I, I like just piece of meat. I mean, I love eggs too, chicken eggs. If I go back in time, if I was just eating this normally, what I would do is probably a third of the way through, I would eat one of the egg ones, and then two thirds of the way through, just the regular fish, I would eat another one of the egg ones, just to kind of mix it up and mash it up like that. Uh, and then also, you know, kind of disperse these ones here as well. This top row was fire, that's all I can say. And these are just... Personally, for my taste buds, I would just say, like, damn. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say, like, that's fire, that's amazing, like, serve me up five more of those pieces. I would just say, like, it to me, it tastes like a delicacy. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, I've already had these. Let me try. I haven't been cleansing my palate, but it's, it's too late now. We're, we're pretty much toward the end of it. This is just egg, you know? No rice that I can see. Looks like there's a little bit of sauce in there, perhaps. But it's just a, you know, rectangular prism of, of egg going in. That's definitely dessert. Yeah, if I go back, I'd put, say that one for last. Got a sweetness to it. This is what I was talking about. I was talking about it in my convenience store video. Sometimes I have Japanese style eggs. And they're very, they're sweet, which, you know, I'm not used to eating sweet eggs. And that's why the egg salad sandwich or the egg mayo sandwich just blew my mind because I expected it to, to I expected it to be sweet, but it wasn't, and it just was so delicious and fluffy. That's a little bit sweet. I would save that for dessert. Not gonna hate on it, but um, I if I could if I was choosing piece by piece, I probably wouldn't even bother with that one to be honest with you. But every other one so far, I would. Now let me let me just yeah let me just finish these off right here. I'm scared something's gonna go wrong, or I might get attacked, you know, by the ghoul. That's you know, but yeah. I don't know why they give me six of these. What's the deal? They're mighty fine to me. One of my favorites. I can't tell you, I couldn't make an order of my least favorite to favorite. Everything was so damn mighty fun. Miles above any other sushi I've ever had. And I'm not just saying, it ain't hyperbole, all right? Like that was next level. Um, yeah, for any sushi lover, come come here, go find a good, decent spot and just, and just trust the process, you know what I'm saying? That was delicious. Like I said, this is the first time I've had sushi here. I can't, you know, talk for the cheaper more budget places because i just haven't been yet i've been wanting to go but i always just find something else to eat um but yeah man like the expensive stuff over here at least in my one singular experience definitely worth it i'm skating out of here thanks for watching i'll catch y'all in the next video peace